Which shoe is better to hoop in? The Puma Metal Ball 1 or the Nike PG5? Today we're putting these two basketball shoes head to head to see how they compare, but really quick, if this is your first time checking us out, feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. So starting off with the box and the price, this is a pretty sweet box for the Metal Ball 1. You have kind of a galaxy theme covering the entire box. The center oval is going to be see-through so you can peek into the shoes, or I guess you can peek in and see the shoes inside. You're also going to see some not from here text that I'm going to get into here a little bit more in a second. So just a ton of details within this shoe box. And then for the PG5s, they come in a gray box with the camel design that's going to also show up on a small patch of the shoes. But as for pricing, the Puma Metal Ball 1 is going to retail for $125 which isn't a bad price for a first shoe. That's gonna be pretty middle of the pack. The PG5s are on the much cheaper side though for a signature line, retailing for only $110. So two pretty affordable options here as far as pricing. So looking at the appearance for these shoes and starting off with the colorways, today we're looking at the Puma Mellow Ball 1, not from here, versus the Nike PG5 Wolf Gray. So for the Mellow Ball 1, just like the box, I mean, the details on the shoe is crazy. So I'm gonna give you a rundown really quick. These are gonna have some 101 text on the tongue for both shoes, and then some not from here text just below the lacing system and Lamelo chose to sign with Puma whenever he probably could have signed anywhere because he wanted to work with a brand that allowed him to be authentic because he is a pretty unique guy you know I mean I guess especially growing up in the spotlight for his whole life so we do kind of know that but with this first shoe he now joins Walt Frazier, Ralph Sampson and Vince Carter to become one of only four people to get a signature line with Puma so I mean that is pretty sweet and he got it really fast too like it didn't take him long to earn it I guess after winning rookie of the year but I mean as for the model these have a really cool like floral embroidered look around the heel and then just beneath that is going to be a weave pattern that's kind of built into the midsole that does look really clean and then the last thing i'll hit on is this number one with the kind of like wings and halo around the lacing system and that's because he has that same thing kind of tattooed on his chest and the same goes with the rare text that shows up on the bottom of the shoe he actually has that tatted on his arm i feel like i could just keep on going on about this shoe because it's got so many details but i'll go ahead and stop so now looking at the pg5s the clear difference between this model and the pg Forbes is night and the pg4 sorry it's Nike taking away the zipper that ran right up the middle of the shoe and I actually did like that because you know without the zipper these do have a little bit more of a simple look but in between those white overlays is going to be that gray area that features the camo design from the box like I referenced and I also personally like the little Nike air piece that they worked in the midsole on these but I mean it isn't really you know the most like eye-catching shoe as far as the appearance is not a lot on there it's going to be you know a little bit more of a basic setup so now let's go ahead and see how both of these shoes hold up so now getting into more of the materials and the performance side and starting off with the cushioning, the Metal Ball 1 gets a nitro foam midsole that's built for superior responsiveness and comfort, and that could not be more accurate. Like these are one of the softer shoes on the market right now, in my opinion. Easily one of the better starts to a shoe line, just as far as comfort goes. I mean, they're gonna be soft from the jump, won't really require any break in time, and the cushioning is just really well balanced on this shoe. And then now switching it over to look at the PG5s, these use a full length air dot strobel that feels like you're walking on a cloud. Nike actually put that in their bio and you know, I definitely agree with that as well. They're gonna have a memory foam insole too that conforms to your foot over time. And that's just gonna be similar to some previous models that Kobe's line would use. They're gonna, they're gonna be really soft from the jump, handle all of your impact really well whenever you're coming down from a jump too. So they got you covered there. And these are two of the softer shoes that you can play in right now on the market. So that's definitely nice. For materials and support, the Metal Ball 1 isn't gonna have any of those like premium touches such as suede, you know, leather anything like that but that's more so because he specifically doesn't like that stuff Melo kind of prefers to use like textiles on the upper, which isn't super uncommon anymore. There aren't really a ton of shoes putting like leather, suede, anything like that on their basketball shoe designs anymore. But Melo isn't also a big fan of like low or high top shoes, which is why these are going to get more of a mid top setup. You know, Puma went with the mono mesh upper on this model that's going to help keep these pretty light. And it's also going to allow for some nice ventilation for your foot. And the support, while there isn't really like any added pieces to help, like a strap, an outrigger, you know, anything like that. The lateral containment still is really solid on this design. You have your foot really locked into the shoe well once you get these on. I haven't had any problem with my ankle sliding around or anything like that. But now looking at the PG5s, this is a cheaper model, so you're not gonna see any premium touches like suede or leather on these. They're just gonna get some cheaper textiles just like Mellow Ball 1. But I mean, that is gonna help keep the shoe extremely light. The support is also pretty solid on this design. You're gonna see a few white patches on the shoe on top of that midsole, kind of running up the design to help with the lateral containment a little bit. Then you also get a small outrigger on this model as well which just helps brace your foot and gives you a little bit of a wider base just to kind of help with your balance and all while doing that the pg5 remains super light i mean a size 10 and a half is only going to weigh 370 grams you know i wouldn't consider the mellow ball one to be heavy but it is going to weigh 462 grams for the same size so it is going to be roughly 100 pounds heavier 
making them, you know, in that about average range. I mean, the PG-5s are just that light, so I am a fan of that. To finish off with traction, this is yet another shining spot on the Metal Ball 1. These have Puma's non-slip rubber compound that is perfectly named. I mean, you get a random traction pattern, which I normally don't love, but I mean, this is probably the best performing random traction pattern of all time. It's a super sticky shoe. I mean, dusty court, clean court, whatever the condition, these hold up amazing. And you get a durable outsole with some thicker grooves. So, I mean, using them outdoors would definitely work too. Puma has a few different shoes out there using that same rubber compound. And it's like top of the line to play in from my experience right now. But now switching it over to the PG-5s, this is yet another strong point on this model as well. The traction pattern is kind of meant to resemble the human foot. It's actually the same setup from the Kobe 9, just like the cushioning on the insole, uh, cushioning on the insole for this PG-5 was similar to Kobe's line as well. So, you know, Nike did pull a few things from that Kobe 9 model and use them here. Anyone who's played in his line before is gonna know that's a major plus. But play, these play really well and they give you a really consistent feel on the court for traction, which is super nice. But to finish off with sizing, I did go true to size on both of these models and the fit was normal for the width and the length, so that's nice. So for the final ratings and starting off with the appearance, I don't dislike the PG-5s at all, but I really do just like the Metal Ball 1. They clearly have more details going into them, so I'm gonna start off with the Metal Ball 1. For cushioning, both of these shoes are really soft, like two of the more comfortable models that I've played in. I don't have a clear way to lean. I'm tempted to go Metal Ball 1 because it feels like they got an extra layer, but I'm just gonna keep that section as a tie. For materials, both of these shoes use textiles, like I was saying, nothing too premium. Neither model really feels cheap, you know, still, so I'm gonna keep it with a tie here. For support, the Metal Ball 1 doesn't really have anything on there to aid with the support other than maybe them being a little bit higher than the pg5s but i mean still they hold up really solid they don't really struggle in that section and even with the pg5s being lower like i just said they had those patches running up from the midsole to help with your containment the outrigger is also going to be there for some added balance so i'm going to keep that section as a tie as well but to finish off with traction this is really tough because it's another spot that both of these shoes play really well but i am going to go with the metal ball one they're just so sticky just a little bit more so than the pg5 but it's still really close so this is one of the tougher ones i've had to do but i am going to go with the puma metal ball one as the better shooter to hoop in by a hair like the metal ball one is my favorite shoe to play in at the moment they're just so soft they grip the floor like crazy and the pg5 is literally my second favorite shoe to play in right now they stack up really similar with the metal ball one and they're a little bit less money so both of these are really solid options to perform in thank you guys for taking some time to watch if you want to buy the puma metal ball one just click the link on screen but we have links for both shoes down below or in our bio so feel free to check that out. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoeware. Peace.